Have you ever seen one of these pants before? One of the rarest pants on the planet of pants. It's so rare. It's so rare. This this pen right here. The big velocity. It's so rare. But you can only get it pretty much everywhere. It took me so long to get this pen. I found it in a cupboard downstairs. It clicks. I can annoy the crap out of people now. Get your hand, your finger off the clicker. Must. I have to, I have to press down. I have to, no, no, you, you, you really, really don't have to do it. Stop. I press down. And I can press up. Okay, hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome, welcome your faces. Back to the journal. Trying some real new opening styles. Today we're taking a look at the Big Pen Velocity uh, Velocity Gel. Uh, yeah. Well, just guys in the close up of the video. Well, well I do another intro. So I'm only filming this after the fact. Again. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. smashed my knee completely. Okay. Welcome back to the journal. I have another pen of you. Yeah. We have this ballpoint big pen. Black ink. Apparently if I can zoom in this is a big velocity jet pen with a 0 0.7. I'm not sure what the 0 0.7 is, but that could be for the nib. Excuse me. It is a clip pen, and this clip pen is so much louder than the Roach and Guy reviewed in, I think it was the last video. Like here, take a listen. I mean, what do you expect? This is like $50 nowadays on Amazon. I think at the time it was a bit more expensive when my dad got it. Um, and this is just your typical, your typical little stationary pen that you use in high school just to take notes. And I actually... Personally, I always used uh, a number two, a number two pencil or a lead pencil, but I very rarely use a big pen. Although I did have it in a, in my um, pencil case, so from time to time during uh, elementary or was it middle school, I think it was middle school, I would doodle with it. It wasn't until high school, like late high school, that I started doodling with a big pen. Not really doodling, just drawing some lines. Um, I can show you what I normally did. I normally did something like this. I didn't have quite the skill as I did do now. I still don't have a skill, um, but that was just some like 
random bull crap like this where I just connect lines um, from time to time. But that's enough of looking in the sketchbook. Back to the pen. Yeah, the ink is black. This is the pen. I'll zoom out so I can get a thumbnail. We're gonna jump right into doing this writing sample. As you can see, we're doing it underneath the road shank. There we go. We'll do thick. City gel pen zero point seven um black ink and then It's hit or miss. It normally works well. Um, the wetness of it is not that great. We'll do some lines. And we'll do. I'll show you what I did as a kid. Then I guess still do sometimes during class. I would go. Like so, just like that. Just a little tiny connect one line to the other. Nothing that, uh, like sporadic. If I can get my ruler now. Only go here. Now, nowadays. I do more detail where I will go like so. And like so. You're getting a you're getting a little doodle, I suppose. Um it's I enjoy doodling with this pen. It's interesting to doodle with them, not even in the frame. Um, it's interesting to doodle with, but it, it's a cheap pen, it's like two dollars at Staples, or like on Amazon. What can you expect? It's, it's a big pen. Although the, I don't want to say detailing, but Maybe that's the capacity you can go. I don't know. But you can do little dots and lines with this. Um, I kind of do like this speed design where I'm not that careful with the line placement. And everything's just kind of over the place. Um, and I do like these gnaw and connecting lines sometimes that I sometimes go back and connect later. Um, 
kind of I'm in a mood uh, sometimes I just thought the pen and sometimes I go really fast and just to it and other times I just jolt it like so and go over each line like so just back and forth back and forth and it gives a nice feel sometimes sometimes you just want to do lines like so but if you're really in the mood some shading I enjoy shading with this pen when I do it this came in a four pack um, I have the others in a pen holder on my desk. But what I like about this is when you shade it, it doesn't really fully go completely black, so you get some of the paper shining through, and I enjoy that. And I sometimes sit here on a the little post-it note normally get this pad of post-it notes and I just I doodle I do I do doodle away while uh, the teachers give the lecture. Uh, sometimes I'm writing notes and I just doodle on the side of the paper. Oftentimes it's either my sketchbook or a sticky note. And I I quite enjoy, I, I enjoy it. I didn't think I would enjoy this my doodling with this my uh, doodles are often the same kind of line strokes and same designs with like triangles and shapes and stuff but it's what I like to do at the moment and I'll continue to do it I have ordered Roach and Geisographs, which are coming for, well, they're already here, but I don't get them yet. You might be like, why don't you get them? Aren't you, like, trendy? Why do you have to rate, um, what I'm rating? Because in a few weeks I turn 21 and I want to do a special doodle video for you guys with those, with the pens that I know I'm getting. Like, I have a pilot vanishing point coming. Um, and I'll have various, uh, various isograph line, uh, pens that I can do doodles with for you guys, little doodles. Anyways, oops, dropped the pen. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later.